Welcome back to Chasex News today. I got to tell you, it is cold. It is cold out here. Yeah, you may have seen to some things hanging around, not including us, of course. That would be a, a hose, actually, on the side of the building. We just about moved in and pretty much tells the story, doesn't it? That's right. We're going to give you, we have gotten a preview because this is, we shot this last week. So this morning, you've already seen part of the inside of the building from the new set. But now it's time to take you inside and see the whole thing. And joining us is the Vice President of Pulitzer Broadcasting and our General Manager, Wayne Barnett. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So we're ready to walk into our new building. Now we're on the outside at the front door where all of you who come to visit us will start. So take us inside. Look how cold wing is. Yeah. Are you cold? Are you freezing? Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's time for us to go in. Because we don't even have coats on. Excuse me, I'll get the door. Good. Thank you very much. Oh, I can't get the door. <laughs> it'll lock down. Saved by regiment here. Yeah. All right, go on, Come on in. This is our entrance. Isn't it beautiful? Look, it's a lobby. From the moment you walk in the door, it's absolutely beautiful. So tell us what's all in here. What's all in the lobby? <laughs> well, we're in our new home. We're using the phone here. This is the lobby where you will come and you'll wait, Steve, whoever it is that you've come to visit, us in the mornings or anybody here at the station. Right. Actually, what we have come through is a, quote, security vestibule. Mm -hmm. Uh... You will have to be buzzed into the lobby by the receptionist, which is right here. Okay. And uh, then when you enter the lobby, we will uh, have furniture hopefully by then. But, which uh, explains why I couldn't get in the building. Correct. Yes. It's working. It obviously is. <laughs> it keeps everybody out. That's right. Uh, well, let's see. We got to get what, a uh, nice sofa out here for the folks that would come in? Yeah. Uh, the yeah. television set up so that it can be nice and comfortable right. while waiting. Right. Exactly. Right. So. That's the lobby. <laughs> Let's move on inside and take us into, what's the first thing we see when we walk through? The first thing you're going to see when you enter or leave the uh, lot receptionist area is the hallway that leads actually all the way to the back of the building. From the front of the building, you can actually see the back of the building. Wow. Through and the newsroom to the back of the studio. In fact, you can see our newsroom from all over the building, can't you? Pretty much. Which we're going to see much. in just a second. Right. Is this uh, comparable to a shotgun house? Perhaps. <laughs> what were we thinking of? Uh, uh, yeah, well, a little bit big. more money involved, Second. but uh, probably, yeah. No, what we tried to do in the whole design of this building was to make it open to, if, for those who have not had the opportunity to go through a, our previous home on Royal Street, uh, it was pretty closed in, and there were a lot of nooks and crannies and stairs and ups and downs. So what we've tried to do is open this building up as much as possible. Well, I tell you what. We're going to show you the first floor in just a moment yeah. because on the first floor is our studio and our newsroom and all the internal makings of what goes on the air. So we're going to show you that in a minute. But first, we want to take you upstairs. Upstairs. All right. Who is that coming down here? Hey, how you doing? <coughs> hey, Steve Bahamas. Steve Bahamas, the, the business guy. You got my check yet? Excuse me? Uh, did, <laughs> did you get my check yet? Oh, sure. It's in the mail. That's right. right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Mohammed. Ladies and gentlemen, He's a close personal friend of our Vice President and General Manager, Wayne Barnett. We're doing a tour. I have and you're in the way, guy. Steve, so we got to <laughs> get up this way if you don't. All right, Wayne. Then we don't want to tour you anymore. We're All leaving right. now. Take us upstairs. All right, here we go. This is really great. As you come up the stairs and we go to the top of the stairs, you can see all out onto the newsroom, but then all of the business activity will go on up here as well, right? Right. But more than that, it's also uh, home of the employee lounge, which well, is also by design. Hey, boy. Well, we'll spend lots of time. Oh, so we'll all mingle with one another. Correct. We don't mingle. We work. We'll yeah, but work we're going to do mingling. Our boss says so. He wants us to mingle. Okay. Is That's the why we built the building. Is the coffee so we can mingle. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, so what, what else will go on up here besides our mingling? Well... And drinking of coffee <laughs> and eating. We will, uh, let, we can go this way through the sales department. Oh, wow. This uh, will be the home of the account executives. Mm -hmm. Look at this, Julie. They have phones. I didn't see any phones in our area. Yeah, no. What are they working on? All right. Okay. Right. Hey, guys, how you doing? Look at this, guys. Actually, this is a conference room. Yeah. One of three conference rooms we have. This is beautiful. And it even has a little balcony outside. You can go out and look out onto the city. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, in, uh, in an earlier tour with Wayne, we were trying to convince him to take this office. But your office is 
Wait till you see I think that's a danger, a little too close to the general manager for my taste. You think so? Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm, it's still under consideration. Oh. Okay. This direction. Now where are we headed? Oh, this we like this part too because you know how we like to eat and drink and drink coffee and stuff. Mm. Well, look, another kitchen. All right. A little kitchenette area to serve primarily the uh, this conference room. We have staff meetings or. Is that a, ca a cappuccino maker there? No, no, that's just regular stuff. Okay. No uh, problem. That's your basic uh, coffee maker. All right. Now your office is over here, right? Uh, this way. Come on through, Dolly. Oh, look. Looks like you're almost ready to get down to work. I am. I've been working nonstop for the last uh, year and a half. Ah, are those the plans over there? Those are the plans. Excellent. Okay. Julie, Steve uh, and I tried to read these plans the other day. Let's see if we can figure them out now. What we did was we broke out the crayons, actually, and... Uh, and look how good we did on our color. I know, that didn't even go out Stay of the lines. lines and yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> this is what? Well? First floor? I'm second actually floor. giving more thought now to having you guys up on the second floor. Oh, really? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. Okay, <laughs> well, good. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about a spot later. Right? Okay, okay. Is this first to draw it in purple? Oh. <laughs> oh, we're just drawing. We're not moving. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, what's in here? This is the re, uh, receptionist area. And they're training, guys. They're training for the new phone yeah. system. See, it's right. over complicated. here. There we go. Okay. All right. There, okay. Actually, this is a very complicated phone system, and really, there are training sessions for this whole thing. And as you can see, they're hard at work over here. Uh, Dan, have you uh, figured this out yet? The way I'm getting works. there. He's getting there. I have Santa Claus on the line now. Absolutely. So you can make long distance calls like you wouldn't believe, right, Wayne? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, now, why don't we negotiate at that discounted rate? Uh, absolutely. That's the only way to do it. Hi there. How you doing? Don't don't let us stop you. What's that? I'll never forget you. I hope not. I'll be back for the training, by the way. Good. All right. Can right. we leave you guys alone? Should we leave you alone? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, look, somebody's reading plans over there, Wayne. What's the deal on that? Uh, well, it looks like he's reading plans. Yeah. Okay. Uh, his is in green. I see that. <laughs> we didn't have that color. Well, Same. he's using watercolors over there. Hi there. How you doing? Now, can, if you guys want to have a perspective here, we're back to where we were in the front. Oh, yeah. And looking down, you're looking back into the, the foyer area. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So it's kind of a... Uh, entry vestibule. The entry vestibule, excuse me. That's a hoity-toity term. This is the room that all of you can visit when you come and visit us here at WDSU. The community room. It's kind of empty right now, but it's going to be filled with lots of stuff, and you're going to help us fill it with memories for years to come. Well, the community room is... Uh, we did wanted a place where we could invite uh, community and civic groups to come in if they needed a place to hold their meeting, they can call us and ask us and book this room and come in here. And uh, we really want to find ways to encourage the flow of the public traffic into the building. So we want you to come and visit us. And you can even see the newsroom from up here, you too. You can, yeah, check it out. This is my favorite. This is the sales conference room, right? Right. And this is where they'll have their, do they have sales meetings every day like we do in the news department? Mm, you No, not that frequent, but they usually meet uh, two or three times a week. So we are all going to really be intermingled. We can hear them, they can hear us. This is a great shot. No, so I, is, actually you can't. You can't? No. This is the sales conference room, and then from up here, wait till you see this. Dolly, come on in. See, this is where we get the yellow. What is Kirk doing? Is he posing for a picture or something? What is, what's he doing? <laughs> That's our news director. In just a moment, he's going to take us on a tour of the newsroom. And there you see the set. Now, that was, it looked a little different than it does this morning because that's when it was still in construction. Somebody's putting some wires in. Okay. Look, he's getting it. Uh, you know what this is? He, he thinks he's still in the French Quarter. He's getting a sketch. I know. It looks like he's getting his portrait. <laughs> 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 hey, good. <laughs> All right. To our general manager, Wayne Barnett, thank you. Thank you for our tour. You're we welcome. love our new You're home welcome. and our new building. And we want all of you to come and see it as well. But we're going to take you into the newsroom in just a second, so don't go away. All right. And you will visit us in the newsroom, won't you? Oh, count on it. Oh, Lost. Sure. <laughs> all right. We'll be back. You're watching Channel 6 News today.
home. We have open boxes and clothes to hang and things like that. And, uh, lots uh, to do. Oh, yes, and lots of wires to tuck away. And one of the people that's actually chiefly responsible for that and for getting us on the air would be Chet Gillia, chief engineer. Hey, Chet, how you doing? Hey, good morning. Good, good morning. morning, Chet. Boy, you have been working hard to get us into this yes, new building by today. We've been working very hard. So we wanted to take people through the real internal part of our station and show them how it gets on the air. Yeah, show us how it works, will you? Okay, well, you know, we've been working on this project for about two years now. I mean, this is, it, it's all coming together in the last week. And it's something we've been working very intensely on, uh, if there's word intensely. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's been very intense. It's a good it's very intense, <laughs> yeah. um, to say the least. Technically what you're speaking, seeing, if you would, why don't you start with this? Yeah, kind of show our viewers yes, how well, they see us. We have bought the latest and the greatest of technical uh, uh, technology in the broadcast area. Stop bragging, Chad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is the truth. <laughs> but it is the truth. Um, because we have the opportunity now to make DSU technically the best in the South, that's exactly what we're doing. Right. We have purchased the latest in camera gear, the latest in switchers, which we will show you, the latest in uh, audio boards, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what we're going to look at. Well, if we could, look. What, this, so this is where they monitor the cameras. What, what you were just seeing on your picture are cameras placed in front of the set, and this is where they monitor those cameras and make sure yes. all the colors look right. Yes. And each, all the shots look yeah, right. Each, each person in the technical side has an area of responsibility, and this is one of the areas of responsibility setting colors and brightness of the, of the cameras themselves. And we have, we'll have four cameras, uh, three in the studio, actually four in the studio, four different cameras. All right. All right, now let's walk across this room, and this is where, well, we're gonna make a stop. Well, First okay, stop. This, this is, now we have the cameras, now we're moving over to uh, ENG Receive, which where our microwave uh, live trucks come in for all of our news remotes and cut-ins and stuff. That'll be in this area. A lot of this gear is not, will, these holes will be filled in at some point so yes there and you also have you also have necessary monitoring for all these sources so they can see everything that comes in guys mm -hmm. things that come comes in the shots that come in from mm -hmm. the uh, network and all the programs that you see on the air and all those live shots that you see this is where they monitor all of that so that they can see exactly what we're receiving Look, yes. julie it's a fax machine <gasps> oh good we can send info too send and receive all right. all right and we also have satellite gear satellite receivers and downlink controllers for all the dishes that are outside of the building. Uh, as we move over now, uh, Rick is here. He's our master control operator. He is controlling our uh, on-air product at this time that, that the viewers are watching. Uh, right now, as we because we've taped this early, uh, you're seeing uh, Maury Povich there. Uh, but uh, be that as it may, these are the machines we play these shows on. In fact, right here is where this program is, is being played back. So can I press that button over there, that, uh, that stop button? If there? you do, you will affect our air. If, ah. if Steve you should hit that button, he might not be on the air with us. That's, I guess that's better. Sure. Hey, okay. don't say that. Hit that button. <laughs> Never say that in this business. Uh, if, you'll watch, if, you'll watch, if you'll watch this, Dolly, Dolly's doing a photography here. He's about to play this commercial and put it on the air. All right. Oh, great. At, at an appropriate time, of course. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, Rick says. Ooh, time to make money. Yes, okay. We also have the necessary monitoring here for him. He has to see things ahead of time. Okay, here we go. And? He's rolling the brake, and there it is on the air. Boom. Whoa. Okay. Now, just so you know, for our viewers, just so you know, there is somebody at this area called Master Control all of the time, and they monitor exactly what time commercial breaks hit and exactly what time programs come on the air. So there is somebody here monitoring everything that you see on your screen all day. 24 hours a day, 24 seven hours days a day. Away. Yep. Did you right. teach these guys everything they know? Everything they know. <laughs> I thought. No, I'm That's why they're so well trained. <laughs> oh, okay. No. So as we leave Master Control, where are we headed? Okay, now we're going to head to what is known as the tape room. All right, let's go to the tape room, okay? And I right. what would be in the tape room? These okay. are all commercials and... Commercial, the, the, the machine that Rick just rolled to get the commercials on the air is this unit right here. This has a bunch of uh, cassettes. See if I can pull one out here. Watch out, it may be the one that's running. Oh, so there we go. There's a cassette. This is what plays a commercial. So every commercial you see has its own tape. That's and they all have numbers and they're logged and it's now run by computer. Right. We had to move this machine overnight uh, to make sure that the next day when we wanted to air commercials, that machine was up and operating. Mm. Now all those all those carts have to go into location, so we had to move all these bins and get all these bins. Uh, there we go. 
Is on all commercials that we can air. Look at that. When, when following a proper log. It's like the Library of Congress, huh? Wow. It's close to it. Wow. Feels like it when we were moving it anyway. Absolutely. Uh, and now again, there is still some, uh, because this is pre-taped, we have machines that are over at the station now, the old building which will be moved to this location. Which explains which why they're have, not plugged in. Exactly. Right. We have right. all these cables that we had to run. Miles and miles and miles and miles of cables we had to run. I mean, all not video cables. Billions no. and billions of cables. Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, now we're moving into production control. Uh, production control is the main control facility, area, part of the building for doing newscasts, for doing productions, for putting shows together, for editing shows. Uh, and if you'll notice, Chris is working the uh, new Grass Valley 4003. I know that doesn't mean there you go much, bragging this, again. I'm sorry, You're I'm bragging. sorry. It just this means the, the best latest, of the best, guys. This is I'm the sure. latest and the greatest of production switchers, video control switchers for uh, for the broadcast industry. And this is the comedy team of Chris and Steve, right? That's it. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, if, if Dolly swings around and takes a look at this wall of monitors, you see all these monitors? Oh, yeah. That's what they have to, our directors and producers and everybody in the control room, they will monitor this, and that's how they determine what's going on the air when. Amazing. Gosh. I'm so excited. Are you excited, Chad? I'm very excited to be getting this project completed. The question <laughs> We've been is, working, as I say, very hard on this. The real question is, are you nervous? Uh, Too no, tired to be nervous. No, we have, we have a lot of great... Uh, engineers here and a lot of great uh, people working with us so I'm, I feel very confident we're gonna be there sure. and by the time you guys see this while you're seeing it right now that means everything's fine it's all running smoothly wait one more thing what? Dolly can we go this way I want him to see this audio board. oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I've yeah never seen we switch us in my life come well, this we way we gotta go to break here all right there we go we're following speaking of audio yes <laughs> hello go ahead Dolly we'll follow you oh, oh man shit, this. this is great Tell us about it real quick. Okay, this is another of the latest and greatest of audio boards here. Let me turn this music down a little bit here. Oh, I'll turn it out. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have CD players, we have dat, uh, digital audio tape recorders and players. Uh, we have um, uh, sources coming from all over the station, which will end up here, the tape machines, the microphones, all right. the reel-to-reels, the, the, anything that has to do with audio during our newscast. And see this phone? Yeah. That's where your calls will come in when you call us. Now, by the end of the week, hopefully, we're going to have you calling in, mm -hmm. giving us a call. Well, listen, we got to wrap things up here. Which one was uh, for the music here? Oh, this right way? there. That's All it. Right. Can I yeah. it? Sure. Ted Gio, excellent job. You got us then? Thank you. Now it's time to dance, rock and roll. All right, we'll be back. Chet. Thanks, Chet. Nice you day. did great. You. Glad to have all of you with us We're glad on to have TV. everyone here. <laughs> From, from as you go around the building, the news department, the newsroom is the focal point of this building. Everything is basically centered around the building. It's sales department and, and administration upstairs. We have our community room upstairs, mm -hmm. and it all feeds down into the newsroom. And, and as you go around, you see it's open. It's more room. It's more airy. It's, it's, it's really giving us a feel of, of, uh, of, of a, a new comfort level as far as that. So do you guys have a comparison? Take a look at this. Now this was our old newsroom, and we shot some video of it before we left on Friday. This is as everybody was packing up and getting ready to move make me out. Cry again. Now, now this was our old newsroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. now so we're saying goodbye to that. Now take a look, guys. Oh, look man, at this. this so nice. Quite a difference. Yeah, huh? it's, it's yeah. quite a difference, and I think uh, I got a little teary-eyed uh, on Thursday when they took all of my monitors down and all of my stuff off the wall. You got uh, teary-eyed when we last talked contract too, yeah we did yes we did <laughs> but we got but we did work past that we got over that no but uh, <laughs> yeah. no but uh, no this is going to be truly a fine uh, uh building a fine facility to work in because it will be truly a television station truly a newsroom oh, yeah. Now, again, you're just kind of seeing things before everything was actually moved in, so you right. don't see the, uh, up on the, on the above yeah. that assignments desk, you don't see the monitors piped yeah, you got, in. We're going to have we'll monitors up here, which will have uh, primary, all of the primary sources, uh, our competition, CNN, ESPN, uh, on both sides of the newsroom. You see the monitors on both sides of the walls up there. Right here is the assignments desk. Mm -hmm. This is basically our air traffic control center. Where uh, the, her head on, you, know, you don't need that anymore. You don't need that anymore. Up. But this is where right. these guys determine where our crews are going and who's uh, who's on first. And this is our air traffic controller area. All right. Uh, right here is where our producers are. Right the folks who actually write and edit and put the copy together. They'll have their own area. 
to work in uh, with monitors, which they can watch feeds and, and look at the computers and that sort of thing. What's that cable for? Is that to tie them down? Uh, no, no, no. That's, that cable in is uh, going to run the computers in here. It's going to ah. run monitors in here. It will give them all of the sources that they need to do their jobs. Ah. Uh, along this line here is we have anchors, reporters. This is your area here. Oh, Let's yeah. see. Julie's here. Rhonda, your producer is here, right. and Steve Bellis is here. Oh, yeah. And I like her new chair. What's that? I said it loudly. I like her new chair. <laughs> and then you have uh, the other reporters on this end of the room. Look. And look, on the other I end found of the room. Something. Oh, you already got your stuff moved got in. Got my stuff in, yeah. Good, good, good. Wow. Well, the boxes will be coming in tonight, and uh, all of your personal effects will be here. Um, as you come this way, right. uh, you see you've been, I don't know if we've been to the set yet, yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go to the set in a minute, we'll go that way. We've been to the set, and we're going to show you, that's where we're going to end yeah, up we'll in show second. you where the, the new we'll morning show set's going to be, where the new kitchen's going to be, where the office is going to be in just a second. And this here's one of the feed rooms where uh, a lot of the videotape is edited, and, and the feed video, com the material comes in, and your editor in the morning, Danielle, yeah, she's already moved in, got her little kids' pictures in there. Oh, it's uh, cute. Yeah, she's got personal effects are coming in. But this is a lot of where the morning show will be put together, edited, and, and that sort of thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, Come on out here. Good. Let's go to the... Wait, wait, have you been to the studio? Control room? Where? No. Uh, studio? You studio. take it to the studio. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we're walking up to is the set where you saw us earlier this morning. Right. So now right. we're coming up behind the set. Right. Here we are. All right. And you got the... the but this was the, before it was actually finished. This right. is Studio A, right? This is Studio... This was the news, newsroom studio, the news okay. department, as you see. The backdrop, the folks at home, once they watch the midday 5, 6, and 10 o'clock news, will see the actual newsroom, the actual workings of putting the newscast together and covering news, and there'll be activity in the backdrop, backdrop uh, throughout our newscast. And this is where you saw us just a little while ago this morning. But it's not going to be our permanent home. We're okay. going to have a brand new home. Take us there. Right, okay. Uh, let's oh, do the uh, weather. Before we do that, let's show you Steve's new home. So this, this is way. the new weather office. And this, this is for Dan, me, mm -hmm. Margaret, and Rose. Rose, watch your step here. They're still doing some final work here. But the weather department, weather folks will be back in this area. Guys are putting the last minute touch-ups on the air conditioning and the power sources back there. Who is that over there? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? You just about done? Just about done. We have about another five minutes to hear you. Start in about 10 <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a comedian. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay. <laughs> uh, please, uh, just ignore us, if you will. Good <laughs> afternoon, Mr. Cruz. <laughs> uh, now we'll go back to Studio B, okay. which is where the morning show... Uh, this is where our new home is going to be, guys. The morning oh, show yeah. it will be the morning, the cooking segment. Let's yeah. get in there. <laughs> oh, Not you. Guys. Guys. No, no, no. See, here are the walls for our kitchen. Yeah. All right. Kitchen, uh, the new kitchen will be in this area here. All right. Your set will be in this corner. It's being constructed now, and it'll be put in here, hopefully, within the next couple weeks. Wait, uh, let me stop you. Do we have hot water? Uh, hot water, uh, dishwasher. Chef, you will all be happy. We have hot water now. Range, uh, the whole nine yards. It's going to be, it's going to be a first-class operation. Uh, the set in itself is going to be in this area here, uh, and it is going to be beautiful. I don't have, a, I had a mock-up of it. I hope I'll, I'll share that with you so you can kind of do a little flash of it. But, here it is. Uh, Here's yep. the mock-up. Take a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't it Check great? It Okay. That's right. We sit there at the and desk. And this is where it will be. It will be right here in this area. And we do the interviews in those chairs, right? There. Right, right, right. right. There. right. And uh, back through those doors, uh, storage of our uh, satellite truck, uh, ENG, microwave trucks so will all be back. The garage is back there. And there will be other, the telethon, we do the telethon, it will be done in this studio. And other, other production that we do at the station will be done in this studio. That studio will be primarily for news, sports, and weather only. Okay. Isn't it gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful. And when you come down to be on our show, then you can get to see it all, too. You can have your own little tour. Plus, we are going to do community events, aren't we? Right, yeah. We And upstairs, we above that. the newsroom, is the community room, which we will make available to groups uh, who need a place to meet, uh, to come and visit. They'll be able to come in and use that room, so we'll talk more about that later. Nearly right. 50 years of broadcasting and a lot more in to store come. right out of this building. Yeah, welcome to our new home. We'll be back. There's more on Channel 6 News today coming up. Thanks, Kurt. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rothman. Yeah. <laughs>